Thanks for joining us. I'm Joel Lopez. Here's a look at your top stories. If you're in need of shelter to weather the storm, there's a few places you can go. In Waco, the Salvation Army has room in their warming shelters for anyone that needs a place to stay. In Temple, Victory Ministries and Transformation Station are also available. In College Station, Twin City Mission also has shelter for anyone in need. Excessive temperature changes like extreme cold can cause major problems to your home's plumbing. With freezing temperatures and increased usage due to people staying indoors, a home's plumbing system can work overtime during the winter months. If you have any exposed pipes, you can insulate them. If you don't have insulation, you can even take a towel and wrap it around some of the piping to stop the wind from hitting it. Also, keeping a faucet dripping will help it from freezing. Multiple school districts are canceling classes for tomorrow and even into Tuesday. Many districts had already had Monday set as a student holiday, including Belton and Connolly ISD. College Station ISD announced that school will be closed Monday and Tuesday. TSTC will be closed on Monday, but online and remote operations will continue as normal. To view a full list, we're updating the tab on our KXXV website. Check it out. What do you think? She made that for you for Valentine's Day. Believe it, or, believe it or not, today is Valentine's Day and seniors living at the Delaney at Waco are getting a very special surprise. Waco Balloon Co. put together balloon arrangements to bring a smile to the faces of seniors so they can get a little bit of love today on Valentine's Day as the pandemic and this winter weather can leave some feeling lonely. Now it's time for a check on your first alert forecast. Thanks for watching First Alert 25. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines. The look at your 10 day forecast for Central Texas and the Brazos Valley. It is going to be bitterly cold. We will have a major winter storm tonight going into early Monday morning. That will end Monday afternoon. And I think we may see a couple of peaks of sunshine as we head into Monday afternoon going into Tuesday morning. But of course, that's going to allow temperatures to get down really cold Tuesday morning, close to zero with that snow on the ground. 26 Tuesday afternoon for Central Texas. 29 for the Brazos Valley. Then another storm system may bring another winter event to the area as we head into Wednesday. But after that, things will improve and hopefully we're back in the 50s and 60s. And man, that looks good by the weekend.